Jessie Shopper here. So today we are going to be making a very cute spring wreath. We got this um, like willow wood wreath at the Dollar Tree. You guys saw me haul that. Um, I also purchased this really pretty gross grain ribbon at the Dollar Tree. It is a pink and gold. You guys have seen me haul this lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and of course the burlap ribbon now the ribbons are all optional i'm only doing them because i like the way that they look but to be perfectly honest i did another wreath um just like this but with red flowers and i did not use any ribbon and it was gorgeous so the first thing you are going to need is a whole bundle of roses as you can see here i just snapped the roses right off and I pushed the flowers up. So you see that this has no um, leaves on it. I pushed the leaves up and you're just going to push the leaves up and cut them off a couple inches. So we're just going to, oops. And if you're not careful, the roses will just pop right off. Um, so the next thing that you are going to need is a bundle of baby's breath. Now the baby's breath, as you can see, they just pull off. So you don't need to cut them. You're just going to pull them off of the stem. And as you can see here, they usually have like a little um, like hole. So you're just going to take your rose stem and push the stem right in between there so that, so that your baby's breath is like this on there, okay? So I've already cut all mine and I've already put my baby's breath um, through here as you can see just slide it right on it just slides on and off so we did that now as you can see Adam my wreath kind of has a couple imperfections over here on this side and so I kind of wanted to cover that up it kind of looks like I don't know I, I guess it got smashed in my bag so we are just going to take our wreath and we are just going to take the stems and kind of weave them in the wood. That's all we're going to do and for now. I'm just going to weave them in the wood. And you can do this pretty much however, you know, you find works for you. I like to kind of put them, you know, staggered on both sides. And as you're going along, you're just going to take your stems and whichever way is easier, you're just going to kind of make sure that you're wrapping your stems. If they're sticking out too far, um, kind of just wrap them around the wreath. Like some of mine are really long. And that just kind of gives your flowers um, a little bit of extra support when they are on there, you know. So like this one, if y'all, I don't know if y'all can see that. See this, this right here. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it around the wreath. That gives it a little bit of extra um, support support and stability now this one right here I know I want this one right here so I'm just going to take a oops, little bit of hot glue and my glue stick fell out and just glue this right here because I know I want this one right here this is going to be my top so you're just going to stick a little bit of glue in there so that you're gluing it down a little bit so and you're just going to keep sticking your flowers however you see fit wherever you would like them as you see I'm just kind of um, going side to side start it off and this is the only thing I don't like about these wire, these wreaths is they are so, like, I'm rough and I break them. Um, so we are just going to keep pushing them through. And you're just going to keep pushing them through. 
just like this. So and you're just going to kind of arrange them and then you're going to take any of your wires like I said and you're just going to bend them. Now what I like to do is if I have any wires, see these two wires are kind of close together, I will just kind of twist them together for a little extra, um, for a little extra like stability. I just twist them together and lay them flat whenever possible. So that is it you guys. Your flowers are on your wreath. It is super cute. And now what I'm going to do is because this is going to be like this, hanging like this on my door. I just want to situate my flowers here. Oops. So my roses kind of keep popping off of the um, stem, so I'm just going to put a little, little bit of glue on the stem and then just slide the rose back on the stem so that the rose will be glued there um, permanently. And I'm also going to be just taking my glue gun and right where I know the flowers are situated where I want them, I'm going to just lay a little tiny, tiny bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot, you guys, because remember, they're wrapped through here. I mean, it, it's really, it's not going anywhere. So this is our wreath so far. Now, I'm going to take this ribbon, and this is all I have left. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to, I don't want it hanging super long, so I'm probably going to go ahead and cut this into thirds, about. I'm going to cut it into thirds, and it doesn't have to be perfectly even, so I'm just going to do it like this. And when I'm not worrying about something being even, I just kind of cut it. Okay, so we've got our three strands of lace here. You can see that. And we're going to go ahead and open this. I love this pink. I like this blush pink. And I like the fact that it's got just a little bit of gold. And we're just using this for a teeny tiny pop of color, guys. So I do want this to be um, about right here because I do want it a little bit longer. And I do want the end to be painted to go with the arrows. And this end, it doesn't matter. So we got our ribbon here, and we're actually going to stack them kind of like this. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a teeny tiny drop of glue and then layer them. This is what I will be doing. teeny tiny drop of glue, layer it, teeny tiny drop of glue, layer it. Now, now I have kind of a tassel. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and kind of in between the flowers here because we do have them fairly long and I want them on the side, okay? So we're just going to go kind of right here in the thick of all the flowers where we can't really see much, okay? And we're going to put a glob of hot glue and we're just going to glue down our little tassel here. Okay, so then you're just going to kind of like, oops, I just kind of 
pull the flowers around it a little bit so that it does so it kind of looks as though it's just there. It's not um it's just kind of in between everything, in between the flowers, in between all of that um good stuff. So we're just gonna kinda Just kind of like this. And that is really it. Now you can um, choose to, if you want, put a, um, dang it, put a, um, bow on this like I said you can put a bow on this or you can um it just depends on what your style is what you like um all of that that's what it's going to depend on okay and like I said once you kind of have everything where you want it you're just gonna go and glue and glue everything so that it is secure and safe. Okay, now I personally think to hang this, we should have, now this is a wire ribbon and I've never used wire ribbon to make a bow. So we will see if this works. <laughs> And I don't think I cut enough, but we will see. So, I'm not exactly sure how this wire ribbon is supposed to work. Um, like, as far as how you're supposed to do it but this is how I'm doing it and this is how I've always done it I just kind of like wrap a bow it's never failed me um, yet it has not failed me as of yet so but, I mean, some people are very good at bows. I am not one of those people. So. You're just going to kind of take that off. And like I said, I am no good at bows, but you can do a bow um, wherever you choose. I'm going to choose to do a bow kind of right here. Now what I do to hold my bows together, you guys, is I just take a little bit of hot glue and glue it. Ooh, that was a little warm. Um, I just take a little hot glue and glue it like that. Normally it doesn't burn me, but I forgot this stuff has wire in it. Um, and I just like hit right down on the wire with my finger. That was pretty hot, you guys. But like I said, I just take a little hot glue um, and it holds these bows together perfectly fine. I've never had an issue with it holding my bow together. Um, I do hair bows with hot glue. I do, um, I do all kinds of bows with hot glue, so, how do I do hair bows, and I don't know how to make a bow, don't ask me, but, um, wire ribbon is fairly easy to do a bow with, just gotta kind of hold it, Just 
little more glue. thing that I'm going to do that I just just decided I was going to do so there is our bow it will be right there so up here at the top I noticed that we're kind of coming apart right here so what we're gonna do is we are just going to um, take this jute I also got this at the dollar store or twine or whatever you um, like to call it. It's called many different things and we are just going to um, wrap it around and we're actually going to leave a little bit out like this so that we can make a um, hanger so that we have something to hang this with and don't have to just hang it with just the wreath piece. So we're just going to, I just cut this off and we're just going to just add a little twine up at the top um, right here. So, and you can wrap this, you can leave this, this is totally up to you and what you prefer, what you like. Um, maybe you have like a little thing that you hang your wreaths on. Maybe you don't need to do this. Um, but I just thought that this would be kind of a cute way to keep it with the shabby chic um, farmhouse kind of look and a cute way to hang this. And then we are going to tie this right here. And tie it right here. So now we have a little hanger and here is our beautiful shabby chic wreath. Follow me on Instagram to see it on the door. Have a wonderful day guys. We'll see you next time. Bye!